What is going on you guys? Wonderbro here with another video. Today we're going to be talking about how thought can come, but you don't have to care. So every day, every day we've got tons of thoughts in our heads, you know, and if you've been meditating for a while, if you've been, you know, focusing on that, staying in the present moment, you know, practicing all that stuff, then maybe you have less thoughts than other people do. But regardless, we all have thoughts that come into our heads. The thing is, we don't have to care. You may have thoughts that cause you a great deal of stress and worry in the body. You may feel the thought show itself in the body through anxiety, you know, whatever. Even so, you still don't have to care. And this is the trick, okay? Yes, you're getting the thoughts. Yes, they're causing a emotion, a feeling in the body. But that doesn't mean you failed. That's just how a sensitized nervous system works. Even if you're not sensitized, you may still feel that thought in the body through one form of energy or another. But the key here is to not care. Now, when we care, when we get this thought accompanied by the feeling, and then we start running away from it or fighting with it or wrestling with it, when we start to care so much and put all of our attention and focus on this thought or on the feeling that the thought created, whichever, or both, more than likely, we start to give it fuel. And when we give it fuel, it gets trapped and it tends to get sticky and it tends to stay with us longer and cause way more suffering and pain in the body, felt through the body, than it would if you let it come, let the feeling that it brings come as well, and accept it and allow it and let it go. Let it move through you freely, okay? We've got thoughts that come and go all day long. It's those one, it's those particular thoughts that we give so much of our focus and attention to that causes the most suffering. All right, whatever we resist persists. Whatever we give our focus and attention to and resist and fight with persists. Okay, because it's all energy and you're trapping that energy and not letting it flow freely when you give it so much of your attention and focus. Let these thoughts come. Let these feelings come. Let it all come and go and move freely through you. Don't judge or label it. Just let it be. Leave it alone. When you get involved, you cause an unnecessary amount of suffering. Now, the more you do this, the more you retrain your brain to be calmer, the less these thoughts come. The more you do this, okay, the more you try to live in the present moment, just allow yourself to live in the present moment, let thoughts and feelings come and go as they please without getting involved, the more you do this, like I said, the more you retrain your brain, the calmer you become, the more you start to understand the truth, that truth being that you are not your mind, you are not your feelings, you are greater than these things, stop getting involved. So thoughts will come, thoughts will come and go. You know, depending on where you are in your journey, that may come more often than, you know, other people. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Thoughts will come and go, but you don't have to care. Even if they're creating a great deal of anxiety in the body, let that anxiety move through you. Let the thought move through you. Let thought and feeling move freely through you while you become the passive, allowing observer. It's only when we fight do we suffer, do we give these things the energy they need to thrive. Okay, practice doing this. This is acceptance. Our two main keys, don't argue with your thoughts. It's pointless. Don't run away from your feelings. Show your brain there's no real danger. Don't fight with your feelings. Not just anxiety, any negative emotion, uh, you know, for that matter. Let it all move freely through you while you become a passive allowing observer. Just let it happen. The more you fight, the more you struggle, the more you lose. All right, you guys, follow me on all my social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. I have it all. If you'd like to make a donation, you can do so. Shorter1993 at live.com through PayPal. I think in yesterday's video I said Shorter1993 at PayPal. Yeah, Shorter1993 at live.com, but it's through PayPal. All right, you guys, I love each and every one of you. Help me hit 3K. We're getting close. I need your help. Share me out. Comment, like, do all you can. It really means a ton to me, if you will. And until next time, as always, stay awesome.